Hey guys, welcome back to Darksiders 2. Uh, we are now out here at the fjord. Uh, where is it? Oh, come on. Okay, there. We're out here, as you can see. And I fast-traveled out of the foundry, so don't worry, I have a thing to return there, so, yeah. Anyway, I was out here in the, for in the fjord, and I was looking around for the, uh, the last limb of Oron, and I have checked everywhere and I can't find anything so I'm beginning to think I have all of his limbs but while I'm out here uh, while I was out here looking around I found a whole bunch of other collectibles so I found like three or four boatman coins and that's one of them it's down here in the lake in between those two broken bridges um, oh I found a whole bunch of different collectibles and actually an entire dungeon that I can go and check out now even though I don't think I'm strong enough to do it just yet um, so I'm going to check up on Oron and see if I have all of his limbs. If I don't, then, well, I'll go find the last one. Let's see, do I have it? Uh, no, I do not. I must not have it. Because <laughs> I think that would that would have been a scene of him, like, getting back together. Maybe I could have sworn, like, he had one arm left. Like, he had it on him when you find him, but no. Okay, so I am missing, um, a foot. That's what I'm missing. So anyway, I found a couple of other things that I'm going to go and check out now because I want to get it here on screen. And then I'll probably head back to the foundry and then we'll, uh, I may end up needing to, I might need to, like, look up where that last limb is because this is driving me nuts. And what's this? Is there anything down here? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so what exactly is the point of having that? So why why is that there? I don't understand that. But okay, I'm gonna check up here. I think there might be a chest I can access up here. Let's go ahead and check. It's worth it. Uh, let's see. Yep, there's a chest over there. Now what does this lead to? Uh, anything? Oh, it's just two ways to get to the same place. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab this chest now. I don't know why I didn't get this earlier. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, hell no. No, I don't want that. Ugh, that's dumb. Yeah, I didn't land in the water. The pointless-ass water. Alright. See what Volgrim has to offer. Yeah, yeah, I would, but I don't need it. Not right now, anyway. The only thing I might actually consider buying from him right now would be a respec, because the whole necromancer thing is just not quite as... It's definitely not quite as good as, um... Harbinger. I really prefer Harbinger. Even though summoning ghouls is cool, and the birds and stuff, that's kind of cool, but... Eh. Oh, by the way, that's actually a very effective way to kill people. If you, um... <clears throat> if you just charge directly into them, you do a ton of damage. Like, you can actually two-shot uh, the really big stalkers. So, yeah. Very cool. Anyway, I'll show you what I did just there. Um, that is one of the grapple points. And if you ever see them on a wall, run up and then right trigger, and then it acts like a wooden peg. So, yeah, those are very cool. So now, let's go ahead and check out this area. I actually kind of forgot what's up here. I think it's just like a treasure chest. Okay, there we go. That's those two dealt with, I think. Yeah, there's one more grapple point here. But yeah, this is how much you gotta do just to get this one little chest here. This is all for one single chest. Boom. There we go. Man, it's just a little one, too. You'd think they'd give you, like, one of the big ones that have, like, a ton of stuff in it, but no. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, fierce sides. Whatever. Anyway, once that's done, just go ahead and jump on down. And that's pretty much that whole area right there completed. So, yeah. Now, another thing that probably got on your nerves was this thing up here. And I mean this just as a player. I don't mean like, oh, why didn't you get this? Why are you so stupid? You know, not that kind of on your nerves. But this Boatman coin, <clears throat> it can be very annoying because it's like, gosh, how do I get that? And then you really... No, oh, hang on. Come on. Did you get out of here? God, you're so annoying. The hell, I set you on fire. Just go away. Thank you. Now, uh, you... Is that it right there? 
I keep thinking this is it, but it's not. It's just plants and light and stuff. But anyway, you really don't expect this to work. Uh, wait a minute. How do I... Oh, yeah, you always have to switch using that, which is really annoying. So, yeah, just do this. There you go. All you gotta do is just grab it. That is literally all there is to it. And I never expected that to work, because it's like... You know, I didn't expect that to work, you know? I mean, that's how the hook shot always works, but what the hell? So, okay. That, I believe that was everything in this portion of the of the game. I mean, of the optional stuff that I found, unless there was something over here. Yeah, wait a minute, there was. There was a rock. I found a rock over here, so let's go ahead and nab this while I'm here. Bang. Okay. Out of my way. So, that's yet another Stone of Mystics. That's the only other one that I found while I was out looking around. And yeah, I'm sorry, this is probably annoying. It's like, dude, can't you just get back to the story? But, I want to grab all this stuff now while it's uh, fresh in my mind, you know what I mean? That way people won't come back and be like, dude, you missed this. Whenever you do this, it's always one of two reactions. Oh, can you get back to the story? Or if you miss it, dude, you know you missed something. It's always, every time. It, it's always that. Or one of the two. So, okay. The other one, <clears throat> which is honestly where I expected the last limb to be, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Uh, it's this area up over here. It's not It's not that guy. But, um, there's this area up over here, and I never came this way. Because I thought it was uh, something for later, but there's also something we can get here now, which is good. And it's something very good. Now, here's another one of those invisible stalkers. I don't know what to do with these guys. I really don't understand. Because, you see, it's right there. You can see it. Uh, there. See? It's right there. I don't know how to kill these guys. I really don't. You might be thinking, it's like, well, you just get the Mask of Shadows later. As far as I know... Book of the Dead page. Um, as far as I know, or as far as I can remember, you don't get... The Mask of Shadows in this game. I don't know how you find those guys. I don't know how you reveal them or whatever. So anyway, that area has an Invisible Stalker and a Book of the Dead page. So, yeah, there's that. Where is this last limb? Oh, it's driving me up the wall. Because I've checked everywhere and I don't know where it is. So frustrating. Like, I rode, like, I literally spent, like, maybe 30 minutes... Uh, before I started recording, just riding around all these areas. The only place I didn't check was that area in between the temple and the nook. Or the lost temple and the nook. Because I checked there before and it wasn't there, unless I just missed it. But I don't understand how I could have missed it, because it's like... it's a, There's nothing to that area at all. So, okay. We got some stuff we can get here now, I believe. Because before, I was nervous to come in here because it's like, oh, there's a really powerful enemy. I don't want to fight it. It's right in here. Really, it's an easy fight. See, it's just one little stalker. But back then, I was, uh... Oh, I hate you. Nope. Okay, come on. There. That's it. But, of course, I came here before when I was, like, level 2... And so I was really nervous to fight that guy. It's like, oh, if I fight him, he's going to kill me. And I don't know where I'm going to have to load from and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. We're going to come back here and do a little bit more of this place. Ooh, hello. Crit damage experience. Nice. Take those. Um, I was nervous to come in here because I was a weakling. And, yeah. But, yeah, now we can come back and finish this area. This will be fun. Ooh, what's this? Arcane crit chance and arcane. All right, well, I don't really care because I have my... Uh, Reaper energy one. Now, let's see. I think we need to go this way. Yeah, yeah, it's this way. Now, is there something behind me? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's that whole area right there that we got to get to later on. Ugh. God, this place is so confusing. All right, now. Uh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, look at the dead page. Very good. That's nine of ten. Sweet. At least I think it's 9 of 10. Yeah, it's 9 of... I think? God, I can barely read it. It just looks like a 9. But okay. Once you get that, come down here and uh, swim. There's a, Aha, here it is. 
yeah, you want to come down in here and swim all the way down. As you can see, there is a little hidden path down here. It's not really hidden, but you know. So, come this way. And now swim up. Now, is there anything here? Uh, no. Okay. I'd just like to check before I go to the obvious path. Okay. So now we are in this hidden cave. Ooh, it's hidden, blah, 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 whatever. Even though no human could have survived long enough to get here because he'd had to dive and dive and dive and dive to get here for like three minutes. Because normal humans don't swim as fast as friggin' what, uh, death, obviously. Gorewood, one of the optional bosses. Okay, so he has a similar attack to the, uh, the spider from what's it called? I don't remember what the dungeon. Oh, oh, get out. Okay. Ow. Uh, come on, I wanted to dodge to the right. Whoa. Calm down, big man. Okay, got me. Come on. How about we do this? Oh, what? How did it get me in midair? That's dumb. Alright. But yeah, he's honestly really easy. Uh, I just don't recommend taking him on early, because this will just destroy you. Ow! The hell. Ow! Come on! Okay, and this is another one where dodging um, while locked on isn't... Oh! Dodging while locked on isn't really your best option. It's better to just dodge. Or at least in my, in my experience, it's a little bit better. Because you have a little bit more freedom. Woo! Damn it. I hate those roots. But yeah, as you can see, nothing to it. Gorewood Mall! This mall was once a part of Gorewood, a powerful and hateful creature. The mall was formed from Gorewood's heart, because of course it is, and it le lends its wielder a portion of its creator's legendary strength. A single blow from the Gorewood mall can scatter opponents into the wind like chaff. Cool. They get all this, all this nice stuff. Ooh. Arcane and bonus wrath. Eh, I'll, I'll just grab it for now. But okay, that's Gorewood. Uh, just one of the four optional bosses. Pretty simple. Nothing to him. Uh, health on execute. Ugh, that's a lot of health on execute. Damn. I might have to actually equip that one because the Reaper thing isn't helping all the... Hey! Hello. I see you. Bang! Power. And that's one of 25. So that's a stone of power. And there are different amounts of the different stones. 32 stones of mystics, uh, 25 stones of power, and then there's one more, and I forgot how many there are of the third one. So, yeah, sorry about that, but whatever. Okay, good to get that done and out of the way. Come on. I love how fast you swim on, in this game. It's great. Uh, can I swim? Aw, uh, what the hell? I can't swim up really quick? That's not fair. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, well. So now, um, how do I get to over there? Wait a minute, I think I know. Can I get over there? No, not quite. All right, well, uh, we still have that other area to check out, so I'm going to try to get there if I can. Okay, here we go. I think what I need to do is I need to get back into the room with the stalker in it, and then I just need to take a different path from there. Like, there's some stuff I can break, and then there's a little hidden passage that I can take. What is this? Is there anything over here? Because I just noticed it's on the mini-map. It's like, uh, the things aren't usually on the mini-map that you can't explore, you know? So if it's on the mini-map, uh, try to check it out. Because <laughs> it might have a hidden thing in it. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing yet. Let's see. I don't know where, how to get, oh, jeez. Wait a minute, I might have to take the little, the long path to get to it. Uh, 
I might have to go to the outside path. Let's try that. Because now that I have the grappling hook, maybe I can, uh... Maybe it'll lead into those little grapple points. Who knows? Okay. Drop. Oh, good. I thought I was going to miss it for a sec there. Okay, there's that. And there's that. Okay. God. Okay, jump. Whee! Alright. Now, where am I? I am... Okay, I'm at least in a different area. That's good. Okay, now... Did I... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was it this way? Yeah! Yeah, it was. Because you drop down right here. And then you end up where you need to go. So drop down here. And then look at where we are. We're down here, as you can see. So we're in that area that I couldn't get to. Now. Okay. That one's not all that good. Okay, now. Uh, death grip. Okay. I think I can make it from here. Yes. Aha. Woo. Okay. Good. Now, I don't think I actually know how to get to the rest of the areas in this place. Like, everything you've seen so far, this is the most I've ever discovered here. So I don't know. I don't actually know how to get to that chest. I can see that there's another death grip point right there, but I've never been able to actually, like... Like, you see, like that. I've never been able to... Ah! I have no idea how to get to that. I must need to drop down from somewhere, then grab it and stuff. Maybe that's all there is to it. Actually, I'm going to get up and take a look. Oh, so that really is all there is to it. Okay, I'm going to go grab that right now, because I was never actually able to get that in the past. I must have just never thought to just drop down like an idiot. Ugh. You just don't really expect it to be the obvious solution. When it, like, when it gives you so much trouble, it's like, okay, I can't just be overlooking something obvious. Like, there's no way. I would have thought of that before I suffered through all of it. Okay, so let's see. Drop. Yep, that's all there is to it. Wow. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Gotcha. Okay. What is it? Not really anything uh, monumental, but it's a treasure chest, and treasure chests are always fun to open. So, that's that area pretty much cleared, as far as I know. Uh, there might be some optional stuff. or Well, it's all optional. But there might be a few other things. I'll probably have to come back at some point. I think I need the portal gun in there, but we'll find out. So now, we got even more stuff to get. Because we're not even done yet. We're about halfway done. <laughs> Actually, no, no. We're not halfway done, because there's still yet another dungeon to do. Optional dungeon. Actually, that might be one I gotta do later, because I remember it having a really tough boss in it. So, yeah. Alright. So, uh, yet another spot where uh, the grappling hook comes in handy is over here. I didn't actually go to this area before, just because I knew I needed the grappling hook. So, yeah, I just figured don't waste time. So, out here in Baneswood, you can see the chest over there. And this is back where we found, like, one of the very first Books of the Dead pages. So all you need to do, run across this, right trigger, okay, jump, and done. All there is to it. Of course, if you don't jump at the right time, then, well, you're kind of screwed, but you get the idea. It's not all that bad. And I think there's actually, yeah, there's a coin here. Yay. Okay. Ooh! Hey. Ha! That's really helpful, actually. It's just like in Darksiders 1, where you grab people and then you pull them and stuff. You know, you can grab the light, quick enemies and it knocks them off their feet. That is very, very helpful. And over here, is there something over here? Because there's whole areas on the mini-map. It's like, there's got to be something over here, isn't there? Is it a stalker? No. Because I heard the footsteps, and I thought that was a stalker, but no, it was just the little guy. I guess maybe there's not something over there. But anyway, uh, we're going to continue on over this way. I think the dungeon is out over... out in this area. Oh, I forgot what it's called, though. Where is this last limb? <laughs> uh, I hate that. Uh, I might need to actually look it up, because I am seriously stumped here. I... 
really don't remember where it is. It's very frustrating because I found them all. See, boom. Boom. Just like that. And it's more powerful than your scythe swing, somehow. I don't know why charging with ruin is more powerful than death, death himself swinging his scythe. Watch this. See? He's still alive. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything up here, but I still want to check. Get out of here. No one asked you. Boom. There we go. I thought it's like, oh no. You're not going to friggin' <laughs> resurrect. You're not going to restore your health as I try to kill you like the other guy. I will kill you. But okay. Where is the last limb? It's driving me up the wall. Oh, and by the way, doing that, it's not really effective for, um experience I've noticed uh, I tried doing that for a little bit I was riding around in an area just killing everything and nothing really happened it might go up like a single pixel and you might have to kill like a couple hundred of them for it to even make a difference but yeah I mean if that sounds like fun go oh there's a boatman coin in there I'm sure somebody was telling me to go in that tree I totally heard you and listened. See, I came back and did it. All because of your comment, except no. Ugh. Now, oh, uh, where is it? I think it's this way. I think this is the way to the dungeon. And I checked down here before and there was a limb here. And it's one I've already gotten because I'm like, where's the last one? Because, see, it was right there by the grass. But yeah, this is another place where you need the grappling hook to get in. And I'm assuming this is probably one of the last, uh, one of the last uh, Book of the Dead pages is in, is in here. Otherwise, it's in a story dungeon. Okay, let's see. I'll go and grab that coin. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Uh, great. Thanks. Death grip. Thank you. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, there's that. 27 of them. Not bad. Uh, I hate the Reaper form. It's so worthless. Kind of. I mean, it just goes away so fast. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, if I remember right, this has an actually very difficult... Uh, has a very difficult uh, boss at the end of it. I don't remember who gives you the side quest for it, but... It's actually kind of tough. Either that or it's just one part of this is really tough and then it's really annoying. And You know, you're like on a timer and if you go too slow, you die instantly and you got to try over and over and over again. It's really annoying. It's one of those kinds of things. So, it's basically platforming in a game where the, uh, you know, where the motions of platforming are kind of clunky. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. But, oh well, it's fine. What is this place? Oh, the scar. That's it. Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm stuck here now, aren't I? That's him. Well. Can I climb out? Or am I stuck here? I'm beginning to think I might be stuck here. There we go. Check all that uh, Reaper energy. That's good. Man, look at this combo going. Whoa, and a purple. Come on, execute him. There we go. Man, that was great. I didn't even take a hit. Well, I guess I could go ahead and do this optional dungeon. I'm sure people are just aching for me to get back to the story, but then again, I don't think anybody really cares that much about this game. Ugh. Anyway... Um, <laughs> now that I've done a whole bunch of optional stuff, I'm going to end it off. And next time, we're going to come back and do more optional stuff in here. So, I'll see you next time where we'll do that. So, see ya.